relative happiness, meaning the individual being happy in this life, that experience only happens when you are doing something that's in alignment with your calling. That's when you're happy. When you're not doing that, when you're not being that, I'm not saying never to take a break, because uh, breaks can help you fuel, you know, put fuel in the car to go again to your course. So sometimes you have to put fuel in the car and be seemingly service to self, but now it's done within this great context of service to all. And your calling, it's in alignment with your calling. So anytime you feel really bad or just not so good for a long period of time, take a good hard look at your life and eliminate everything that's not conducive with your calling, that does not support your calling. Change it with something that does support your calling, and I promise you, your heart will open, your crown will open, source will flow through you. Love, creativity, fulfillment, connection, compassion, the capacity, the power to transcend challenges and heal will just come flooding in. It'll just flow through you. You don't even have to do anything. You're just being your calling. You're just beaming who you are and what you're all about. Mine is everything knowing it's the one infinite creator. So. This will build momentum, right? You become good at this. This is optimization. It's kind of like the Tim Ferriss stuff, you know, where you optimize your life and you optimize your life so that you don't have to do as much, but you gain as much as you can. It's kind of like that, but you do it spiritually with your calling and you focus only on the things that truly excite you, that you're passionate about, that make you light up. If you don't live that life as a human physical being, you're going to be causing yourself dis-ease, whether mental disease or physical disease. As Ra states, first the catalyst is given to the mental body complex. If it's not paid attention to, it's not understood, it's not transformed or utilized or listened to, it will be transferred into the physical complex, right? The physical body. Anyway, what, what will happen is first you take baby steps, right? This can take you like six months to two years to really transform all these elements in your life and make them in alignment with your calling. Ideally, every day you wake up and the very thing you have to do that day is directly causing people to experience whatever your calling is. Insert your calling. Because now you can't help but be happy when you wake up and you can't help but want to do the things. So for example, my life right now is so accelerated and fine-tuned in this way that Really to do anything for myself, I just, I get grumpy. Like anything, like a car ride that like I'm not actually creating something or I'm not like deepening my dissolution into God or I'm, anything that has not something directly to do with my calling makes me unhappy and frustrated. Just super quick. I don't do things for myself. I've learned I'm happiest when I don't do things for myself. And so this takes a little time to get adjusted to, but then you're really the vision and you become a mirror to everyone else because there's no need, there's no desire, there's no greed left in you. It's completely empty of ego. And now everyone that comes to you, you will literally feel their higher self, utilize your mental and physical body to elicit speech, action, confirmation, radiance, whatever, however it needs to use your vehicles to exactly mirror where these people are at, plus a little bit more so that they can gain conscious knowledge of how they can grow more into who they are. So outwardly, you start to become like a mirror. Now, this is only if you really do this work every day, intensely, for months and years. Okay, but the result is that you're empty of self and you're just a walking hologram. You're just a ghost, but your body is just a ghost and it's used by God, by the infinite intelligence, because you're not in the way. You're not pondering how you can secure something for yourself which is a lack of faith. Would you agree? You needing anything is a lack of faith. You don't need anything. When that gets through to you, that's truly when service to others, can that percentage can ramp up. And all this stands or falls with to whatever degree you realize that literally everything is the one infinite creator. The one. You are that one. It takes time because you're so, you're so, we're so attached to this, right? Our life, our memory, our physical body. It's scary to drop that. It's scary to not have needs but it becomes the most liberating state. Just every day is just flow. You don't have any, you don't have any needs or arguments. Doesn't mean you never ever operate or like have a confronting situation. Situation. I, in fact, I've got many of these. I go in hard and then I become soft and I go in hard and then I become super mellow and soft. And so there is this play that's happening. The play doesn't end, but now it's utilized and it comes from a higher intelligence because it's not, premeditated by a person that doesn't exist when you investigate it. All our lives, all of our biases, all of our preferences, all of our needs, all of our suffering and anguish on a day-to-day -day basis 
come from this uninvestigated idea that we are a person. Investigated, get scared when you realize there's nothing there, and re-pretend re that you're a person. Stop, investigate, get scared that you're not there, and re-pretend that you're a person. And at some point, there will be a day when you investigate, the person is not there, and instead of being afraid, there's this infinite bliss that kicks in. And you now realize who you really are, what you really are. And now that you've tasted this, you want nothing but that. You want the one infinite creator. You want to become the creator. So then you go about knowing yourself, accepting yourself, even altering yourself where it helps you be in alignment with your calling, where your physical life, the expression of who you are as an individuation of God, now is in alignment with that true frequency that wants to come forth. But you also want to realize more and more of the emptiness of a separate self. Because the, 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 the experience, it's not even, it's beyond perception, it's beyond experience, ultimately. But the knowingness, the realization of the one infinite creator, there's nothing, nothing like it. And Ra states, when one in yellow ray active, I'm paraphrasing, um, penetrates the eighth level or the eighth density, there is, there is an unspeakable joy. There is just, uh, there's a vision of unspeakable joy for most. It is different for each individual, but this unspeakable joy. And usually that being does not instantly terminate their incarnation. They usually have a great desire to then be of service because they realize the emptiness of who they are and they realize that all is the one infinite creator. And so they can show up in this game having transcended the game. It's like going back to high school and just wa walking around and seeing all these little guys with these backpacks like struggling through life and puberty and boners and you know <laughs> like un, un, non-deliberate boners is what I mean and and you feel transcendent like right? you feel like hey that's no longer my problem and that's great and it's like that with this life too like it's no longer your problem but now it's your duty it's your responsibility it's your joy it's your honor if you so choose <laughs>